Hey y'all and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be sharing my pack, clean, and move with me. We are moving out of our four bedroom mobile home into a three bedroom house due to health hazards in this home. There is just black mold and just lots of issues with this home making my family sick. So we have to get out as soon as possible. So we not only moved but we moved fast. So throughout the beginning portion of this video while I'm packing I'm going to be popping up some tips on the screen on moving. So if you plan to move or maybe in your next move, maybe these tips will help you. My very first tip was get free boxes from grocery stores. Definitely call around or go to your local stores, Dollar Generals, Walmart, and they usually will have boxes that you can have for free so you don't have to buy any. And my next tip is starting with decor or anything that you don't absolutely need. So you can start packing your movies and your CDs and your DVDs and any decorations, things like that that you're not needing right now at the current moment. So I did go ahead and take down our curtains, but we left up the blinds. My next tip is make a bathroom basket. And this is just a basket that you put toilet paper in and your toothbrushes, your deodorants, things that you're gonna need immediately when you get to your new house and you don't wanna lose it. You don't want it to be packed up in a U-Haul or buried in a box. So definitely make sure you make yourself a bathroom basket with all your necessities and leave those in your car. Packing and moving with a baby with three kids that are five years old and under in general is tough work when you are solo. So I was packing up while my husband was at work. Obviously he has to go to work and still make our money. So I am at home packing as much as I can while he's at work. Also while tending to the other littles and it was a job y'all. And speaking of the littles, my next tip is to let your kids help pack. Give them a box and send them to their room or their toy area and tell them to go ahead and pack their box. Go ahead and put all their toys in it. I also let them know not to pack up any stuffed animals, that those are going to go in bags. So I directed them on exactly what to put in the boxes and let them have it. And they were a big help. Later on, I did have to go and kind of adjust the box so that I could fit a little bit more in it because obviously little kids don't know how to pack properly, but it was so helpful just having it all right there in the box for me. So I highly recommend. On day two, I didn't get very much packed because we ended up going to the fair that evening whenever my husband got home from work. So I had errands and just a busy day, but I wanted to share that you can use black trash bags to put all of your pillows, your stuffed animals, your blankets, anything soft, all your softies go in a trash bag. The very last room that I always pack when we move is the kitchen and I always leave out just a few dishes while we are still in the home and for whenever we move and I'll just put those few dishes in my car. So I'm cushioning my glassware with some paper towels just so they don't get broken. You can also use packaging paper or newspaper. I also put my knives inside of a pot holder so you don't have to risk anyone getting cut whenever you're unpacking. So I'm just putting a paper towel in between each glass so that they don't cling together. You also wanna fill up the boxes and pack them full because if it don't shake, then it won't break. So this is a quick grocery haul of everything I got for our moving week. Things that I don't have to use pots and pans for. Things that are really easy and quick to make. I got the Littles some apple juice. These are like a dollar something from Kroger a piece. And then for breakfast I just got these unicorn toaster treats. And we also have some Chewy Bars. They can eat these for breakfast or for snacks and pair it with a banana. Which I'll go ahead and jump over here. We did get some bananas to go with breakfast or lunches. I got one gallon of milk, some more coffee creamer. And then some grape jelly. We also have some peanut butter already in the pantry so we can do quick PB&Js for the kids. I typically will buy meats to cook and all that, but for moving week, we are not gonna be cooking. We're gonna be very busy moving and packing. Picked up some butter because we're completely out. These are unicorn mac and cheeses. These are really convenient. I'll just put water in these and pop those in the microwave. So anything that can go in the microwave or the air fryer is really what I got. So I got these pizza rolls. We cook these in the air fryer. Some chicken patties. 
And I also got some buns and lettuce to go with these and we currently still have some tomatoes. So these will be really quick and easy in the air fryer. And then I got some honey breast tenders. Those can cook in the air fryer. And then for the chicken patties and the tenders, we also have some tater tots and some fries. All of this will cook in the air fryer. These will cook in the microwave. These are the Philly steak and cheese hot pockets. These are the buns for the chicken patties. And then I also got some lettuce for the chicken patties. And then I got some salad. Shred up some turkey or some honey ham and then pair it with this salad with some dressing. And then that could be a lunch or a dinner. We can also make sandwiches with the sandwich meat. And then I also got these Texas toast croutons to go with our salad. I picked up some apples because the kids really love these and these are quick and easy for them to just rinse off and start eating. I got some Wonder Bread for our sandwiches and I actually ordered some Milo's sweet tea but they were completely out of the Milo's so they substituted for the Kroger sweet tea and I got this because I usually make our own fresh sweet tea but obviously I'm not going to be using pots and pans so I just grabbed one of these. And for something quick to grab out of the fridge, I just got these Gatorades, something that doesn't really have to be refrigerated. So this is just some quick and easy ideas if you are moving of what you can buy and how to prepare food without having to use pots and pans. Before we moved, I washed all the laundry as much as possible. I say all the laundry. There's never ending laundry, y'all. There's always going to be dirty laundry somewhere. But I washed as much laundry as possible. And I also packed what I call an overnight bag. It just has an outfit for each of us. Clean underwear, clean socks. Because all of our clothes are going to be packed up in the U-Haul. So this way, I will have a bag of clean clothes in the car with our bathroom basket. The U-Haul just got to the trailer, my husband and some family and some of our friends, we're so blessed to have come over to help us move. I don't know how we would have got it done alone, but I'm just so grateful for all the help we had. So I went ahead and went over to the new house and took all the kids so that they would be out of the way with all the heavy lifting going on over at the trailer. I didn't want to risk a piece of furniture falling on the baby or something. So we went ahead and went to the new house and I'm going to go ahead and clean before we move in. I'm going to mop and vacuum all the floors, wipe down the cabinets, clean the bathrooms and just get this house feeling like home and ready for us to get all moved in. Funny story, so I have one of those automatic air fresheners and at the trailer I had it sitting up on top of the bookcase and I did turn it off before I put it in the box. I remember doing so, but once we got to the new house, my husband was like, do you know who packed our automatic air freshener? Because he was just imagining it not being turned off and just like spritzing every 30 minutes or so in a box somewhere and it was freaking hilarious when he brought that up. I laughed so hard, but I did end up turning that off. So if you have an automatic air freshener and you are moving, make Make sure you turn it off. louder than that and be a hassle but that's not bad at all no we can't get on the train silly yeah that's not that's not too loud at all I don't know if y'all can tell but it's not that loud you see the train Bella y'all look at our backyard it is flat we have lots of like kudzu we have a train track and there's nothing but just miles of woods back there the whole backyard is flat so we really love that and somebody left their horseshoes so maybe we can play some horseshoes um and then there's like a burn pile back there that we're going to be cleaning up
you are new around here, my name is Marie. I'm a stay-at-home mama from Georgia. I've got four kids, ages 11, five, three, and 10 months old. And I create videos about motherhood and homemaking combined because my life revolves around being a mother. I'm a mom first, but my passion is homemaking. So if that's what you're into, then I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our family here on YouTube. It helps our family tremendously. All of our money goes towards our family. So I'm so grateful from the bottom of my heart for every single one of you. My YouTube channel allows me to work from home, provide for my family, and stay home with my kids, and I am truly grateful for it. We would not have this house if it wasn't for y'all's support. Y'all truly helped us to get out of a sickly environment and into a better home. So I am planning to do a fall front porch and I'm trying to get that out as soon as possible, but we are still settling in our home. So at our mobile home, we did not have a covered front porch. So it was really hard to put decorations out there. So my front porch here is small, but it is covered and I am so excited to share the ideas I have with you guys about my front porch. And I'm also going to be doing a Halloween clean and decorate as well here as soon as everything is settled and put together. So I don't like to do super scary decorations like witches and skeletons because I don't want to scare my kids. But I am going to be decorating for Halloween and I'm going to be giving y'all tons of affordable ideas. So Eric and the guys are loading up our trailer. I just put some puffs on a blanket for Jackson right there. So our plans is to catty corner the TV here and put the couches somehow over here. I'm planning to put Bella's bed here and Adeline's bed over here. So I kind of just put the curtains under the windows that I plan to hang them up on. So this is my bedroom and I plan to put my bed and nightstands here on this wall. And then over here on this wall, I plan to put like my dresser and the TV. We're also looking at new furniture, so eventually we plan to get like new furniture. So whenever I did my house tour, the power was off. We now have power. So this is my bathroom. So over the toilet, I plan to do like an over the toilet shelf thing. Really excited about that. I love my closet. So they had some different kind of shelving in here, but that'll be covered up because I plan to put like some kind of baskets up here and then our clothes will be hanging up. We have like a secret door as Addie called it but the hot water heater is like in here and then this is basically just a bunch of storage and I'm not sure if I'm going to put my makeup vanity right here or in my bedroom so I'm not really sure how that is going to work yet. So this house does not have a linen closet or any coat closets we only have bedroom closets so I was planning to put all of our towels somehow in here. <laughs> So that's the girls room across is mine and Eric's room and then back here is the boys room. So I think I mentioned in my empty home tour but I plan to put Nolan a twin size bed here and I plan to put Jackson's crib over here. So it kind of has like a little cubby in the wall. This is the boys closet and the crib's going to go right here in this area. So the plans for Christmas coming up, I do plan to put our Christmas tree in front of this big window because why wouldn't we? So over here, like when you first walk in the kitchen, I think I'm gonna be using like under here to put the kids like Play-Doh and kinetic sand. It's gonna put like arts and crafts in this basket so that I have somewhere to store all that stuff. I think this is gonna be Jackson's baby food drawer. I'm really sad about this, but this was gonna be our stove. It has the flat top, which I love, but they said the motherboard's messed up in this. So we're actually gonna have one of the stoves that have the grates on it. So I wasn't too happy about that, but you know what? We have a stove, blessed to have a stove, and that's all that matters, right? And then over here to the left of the stove, I think this is where I'm going to put like all the pot holders and stuff. So nothing's really organized yet. 
Um, I'm just trying to throw everything in here. I've got all my curtains up here on the counter. I don't have a trash can here yet, so I'm just using this trash bag. In here is supposed to be the dining room, but I don't think our kitchen table is gonna fit right here. We may just take the leaf out of the center of our table and put just the small table with the four chairs. And I was thinking maybe do like an island right here with like two bar stools. And me and Eric could sit at the island and the kids could like sit in the dining room. So that's an idea. I really don't know where my desk is gonna go yet, but maybe I could put my desk right here in this space. I'm really not sure if I'm gonna put it in here, in my bedroom. I have no idea about my desk yet, but there's just a few home ideas that I have. So I'm not sure, I'm not for sure 100%, but those are just some ideas. And y'all, this home is gonna be so much better for Jackson because I'm just gonna keep my door closed, that bathroom door closed, that's the boys' room, this is the girls' room. I'll keep the girls' door closed as well. But that way um, Jackson can, he'll be walking here in a few months, so he can just toddle down the hallway, he can go in his room, he can come in here. There's no reason for him to not, you know, be allowed to come in here. And then I'm just gonna put a baby gate up to block off the dining room and keep like the trash can in there and the vacuum cleaners and the mop and all that in there. So that way, oh yeah, and put um, like child locks on the cabinets. So that way Jackson will be free to walk through the house and not have to be like confined. And I cannot wait to decorate and show y'all all of the updates. At this point we were absolutely exhausted but we had to keep going because our house was a disaster and we needed all of our things that were all packed up so I was working on unpacking all the boxes getting everything out of bags as quickly as I could so that we could have all of our things and whenever you're moving you have to tell yourself it's gonna fall in place in time it's not gonna all happen at once it's gonna be chaotic it's gonna be inconvenient for a while until you get settled in So we haven't had time to install our hardware for our curtains yet. So I've literally been hanging up a sheet over the bottom half of the window just because it creeps me out to look out the window and see blackness. So I did hang up Arabella's unicorn sheet in my window. Just until we can get our curtains up, I do have sheets on the kids' windows like that just hanging up just for privacy, even though we live out in the woods and we do have some neighbors around us, but nobody can see in our windows. It's just the point that it looks creepy. So I was so excited to make up my bed in a new space just to see what it would look like and I absolutely love it. I still haven't hung up my Let's Cuddle sign over the bed yet, so I'm gonna need to still hang that up. So now I'm working on unpacking all of our clothes and getting our closet situated and then I'm gonna head into the kitchen here in just a minute and start putting our cleaning supplies under the sink. And this house doesn't have a pantry, so we brought our pantry cabinet from the trailer. So I'm gonna wipe it down really well, and we're gonna fit it over here next to the refrigerator.
One of my favorite spaces in this entire home is our kitchen and how big it is and how it suits our family so well. The trailer kitchen was so small, we were tripping on each other and it was so stressful and I wasn't even able to open up both sides of underneath my sink. Only one cabinet would open because the stove stuck out in front of the cabinet so I couldn't even open up my cabinets underneath the sink. It was also really bad water damaged under the sink and it drooped in so anything I put under my sink just flipped over and it had a really awful smell due to just mold and issues and I was constantly cleaning because if something smells funky to me then naturally I'm gonna want to clean it so I felt like I was cleaning 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 constantly and it's just like a breath of fresh air when I open up my kitchen cabinets in this house and everything is clean and these cabinets are brand new and I really honestly feel like God blessed us with this house this is where we need to be this house was sitting here waiting for us there was a couple of other houses we looked at but it didn't work out for us because it wasn't meant for us so if you are needing to move and you are waiting for your moment in time your moment will come too we often face struggles in life, and there's a reason for all of our struggles, whether it's to teach you patience or teach you a lifelong lesson to help you to be grateful for other things. There's always a reason. So just stay positive. Your day will come. We are so blessed, so grateful, so excited for our new home. There's still so much to do. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to be to continue on with our new house journey, and I hope to see y'all in our next video. I'll be